How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I got to show you this video about Donald Trump. I know you've probably seen this on social media. You've probably seen this picture that I'm going to place on the screen before you right now that has Trump dumping a bunch of food into a pond haphazardly. <laughs> but that whole thing is really just blown out of proportion. You can see the crazy headline on the screen before you. It's, it's kind of ridiculous that we got to come to this point in society where we got to just defend Trump for feeding fish properly look at the headline anti-trump media makes up fake story about overfeeding fish at japanese koi pond they have gotten very desperate to make up crazy stories like this like i said you saw the picture with him just appearing to just dump all the food into the pond not knowing what to do and before we get into the video and the article i just want to say the whole point of them being there that shinzo abe that's the president of japan the whole point was to have the box with the koi fish food in it and to use a wooden spoon to just disperse it, you know, like that. Okay. But the media was saying he didn't do that. He just dumped it all in the pond. What we're going to do right now is watch the real video. Then you're going to see what happened. Then we're going to get back to the article and read some of the crazy responses from the insane leftist media. So without further ado, go ahead and roll it. We've sunk in that low to where we got to talk about stuff like this. But let's get back to this article over here. Okay. Koi controversy. Okay. What Trump fish controversy? What really happened? President Trump in Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe carried on an old tradition of feeding carp at a koi pond in Tokyo when CNN and the rest of the mainstream media decided to twist the narrative to make Trump appear like a buffoon. Liberal CNN ran a ridiculous headline. <laughs> Trump feeds fish, winds up pouring an entire box of food into koi pine. And I put that headline on the screen before you, complete with a misleading tweet from reporter Veronica Rocha that only shows that Trump dumping the entire box of food. Her footage is completely edited to skip Abe doing the exact same thing. In fact, Abe dumped his entire box of fish food into the pine and Trump followed while the prime minister of Japan smiled. However, the anti-Trump media has been cropping the video to only show Trump's actions. And you can see the tweet right here from Veronica Rocha. That's the CNN reporter. President Trump feeds fish with PM Shinzo Abe in Japan, then pours the entire box of food into the koi pine, which is a lie. Bloomberg White House correspondent Justin Sink tweeted that Trump and Abe were spooning fish food into the pond when Trump decided to just dump the whole box in for the fish. The problem with the attempt to paint Trump as an animal abusing lazy American is that Japan's prime minister did the exact same thing seconds before Buzzfeed news when the story headline, this photo of Trump dumping his cart food into a pond in Japan has become a huge meme and embedded a series of Japanese tweets, mocking the president, the guardian even ran a story about the dangers of overfeeding fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really? White House reporters, keen perhaps to pick up on a Trump gaffe, captured the moment when he upended his box on their smartphones and tweeted evidence of his questionable grasp of fish keeping. The Guardian wrote, so I speculated that a poor palace employee would be dispatched to the scene to clean up the mess as soon as the two leaders disappear inside. Foreign dignitaries have been feeding the fish in the koi pond for years, but Trump did not lose patience despite what the media wants the narrative to be. He was literally emulating Abe with his actions. That's what he's supposed to do. You know, that, that's the whole thing we talk about when we're talking about immigration. I'm going to di digress a little bit here. I'm talking about immigration. What did we say? When in Rome, 
Say it with me. Do as the Romans. This is exactly what Trump was doing. I mean, I don't think Trump has a, a koi pond that he has wooden boxes and wooden spoons to feed in his house. So he doesn't know what to do. He's just following the man who obviously knows what he's doing. You follow his actions. That's what you're supposed to do when you're in a place where you're a guest. That's how it goes. If you go in somebody's house and they say, hey, no shoes. You see where the shoes are. You take your shoes off. You put them right there. You walk in the house. Have a good time. If they're sitting down on the ground, Indian style eating. You sit down on the ground and sit Indian style and eat as well. That's how it goes. But I digress. Let's get back to the article. One Twitter user wrote, Abe is basically watching a polite rage horror as the epic orange buffoon tries to kill his fish. But she clearly didn't see the entire video. While the New York Daily News said the former New York City real estate tycoon got a little heavy handed while feeding koi. OK, here's a tweet from some random person. Kellyanne, I guess she's like, you know, pretending to be Kellyanne Conway. No, Donald Trump didn't pour out all the koi food when he was told to sprinkle it one by one. This was a gust of wind from Hillary. Abe, they are for feeding koi. Just drop a few in and Trump. I've got a 1.30 tea time. So hashtag motivation Monday from some random person, Holly, uh, Brian Fallon. I'm not sure who that is, but this is what I talked about before. You know, these people used to be trolls, but now they have blue check marks and the big following and they get a lot of retweets. So I'm not sure who's a troll or what's going on now. Brian Fallon says Obama did it better as usual. OK, so they just want to cherry pick one thing. And Obama's using his bare hands, if I'm not mistaken. But Trump is using the spoon. So who's doing it better than who? Who's sanitary? Who's not? But I'm going to move on. <laughs> Pummel Report says we've reached a stage of Trump's senility where Donald Trump pours entire box of fish food into a koi pond as Rex Tillerson looks on in horror is a true headline. Trump spoon feeds koi fish at Akasaka Palace. He ended up just dumping the whole box of fish food into the pond. <laughs> and then here's the thing from CNN. Of course, you know, they're going to come with the fake news as always. They say Trump joined his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe in feeding fish, emptying the whole box of food into a koi pond. And here's the infamous picture that you've all seen. Monica Alba says President Trump empties his fish food container while feeding koi with Prime Minister Abe at Akasaka Palace. Quite a photo by Andy Harmick. New York Daily News, President Trump was criticized for throwing an entire box of fish food into a koi pond. <laughs> OK, Metro, Metro UK. This is another publication. All blue checks. Trump told to feed koi fish by spoonful, gets impatient and tips entire box. <laughs> oh, man. OK, so that's all. That's 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 all. <laughs> that's all. I mean, this is really silly. At the end of the day, I have nothing else to say. The media is getting desperate. You guys are really just reaching, just grasping for straws. I mean, everything that Trump does. I mean, if he uses the bathroom and doesn't wipe properly, are you going to cover that? Are you going to cover everything he does? Are you going to cover if his tie's not tied properly? If his shirt just happens to become untucked? Are you going to, like, if he has a bad hair day, are you going to cover that? Is that going to be a new story? I mean, this is really ridiculous. And it was a lie on top of that. Not only was it ridiculous, it was a lie. My thing is, people were there and witnessed the whole thing. So did you just not see Chenzo Abe dump his food from the box and you just trained your eyes on Trump the whole time? Did you ignore Chenzo Abe or did you just like what's really going on? Did you intentionally do this? You have to understand that people are going to see this. People are going to find out the truth. I think maybe sometimes as I close here, I think maybe sometimes people think that we don't see all the footage. They think that we see just a piece of it and we're not going to go back and do any kind of research or any kind of independent uh, you know, fact finding. But look, this is the Internet. This is 2017. We have fact finding measures. We can find the video. We can find the audio. We can find pictures. We can see what's really going on. The mainstream media continues to try and trick the average person. They may get some people. They may have some people that say, oh, Trump is a buffoon. He don't all the fish into the pond, but there's going to be those of us like myself who do just a little bit of research and see that you're lying and it's going to just and make the whole case about you guys being fake news that we do not want to watch just become that much more set into stone. So what do you think? Was this a silly article? Was it a silly story to even do? Do you think that the mainstream media is becoming more and more desperate as the days progress? They don't know what to do. Their golden goose Hillary Clinton is not going to be successful anymore. She's done. Same thing with helicopter Bernie. And all these crazy people, they're not going to be able to have a chance anymore when it comes to the national elections. 
So they're doing whatever they can. They're going to say, well, Trump didn't know how to feed fish right. And they're going to go so far as to even lie, an obvious lie that can easily be debunked. Or do you think that CNN was telling the truth, even though they have real video? You know what? Sometimes as I close with real, you have the physical evidence in front of somebody and you'll say, hey, what do you think about that? They'd be like, oh, well, Trump is still a racist. <laughs> They'll pretty much just bypass it. They'll try to ignore it to still fit into the crazy little small box of a narrative. But that's all I got to say about the situation. Whatever your comments are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. This is an apple. Some people might try to tell you that it's a banana. They might scream banana, banana, banana over and over and over again. They might put banana in all caps. You might even start to believe that this is a banana. But it's not. This is an apple.